Um, I wanted to make a real quick video to show you how I organize aircraft records. Um, seeing is believing, so I thought I'd show it to you. Um, this is our rack of uh, logbooks for the seven airplanes that I manage here at Trident. And um, I wanted to show you my logbook records and how I do the 8130s for the airplanes, because I think it's pretty impressive. Uh, I like all the records in a binder. Uh, and my entries are printed off of a template that I have in Word, which also has a, um, an embedded Excel worksheet so that I can um, drop in current total times, total landings when I'm starting a new entry. And the, the Excel has a formulas in each of the little boxes that, uh, that accurately, perfectly uh, calculates the current engine and uh, times and cycles off the, um, the airframe time and cycles. And I've got uh, very neat, orderly entries um, with the uh, you know aircraft tail numbers and serial numbers for the different uh, engines, APU. And I print it on a paper that's just fantastic. I've been using it for the last couple of years. Uh, it's called Xerox Never Tear. Absolutely amazing stuff. I mean, that's that's pretty... I'm not even afraid to do that. <laughs> um, it never tears. It's really good stuff. So there, you'll never have logbook records missing from, from being uh, turned and used over the years. And that's important because a lot of the aircraft's value comes from having superb maintenance records. And I really think I do really good superb maintenance records. And I would love to do it for 10X. Now let me show you this. Um, when I have a component change, I make a practice of um, copying the 8130 on the back of the logbook entry. Uh, and that is not the 8130. The actual 8130s are kept I've got a filing cabinet for each um, each aircraft. It's got a, a section for it. And uh, as you can see, um, maybe you can't, but I've got the tail number of the airplane on each section of, of uh, files and they're, and they're segregated by ATA codes. And you know, as, as I um, change parts, you know, you put the new 8130 for this ATA codes and lights or you know, landing gear. Um, it you drop it in the front, and you do a quick review of the of the records in there, and you pull out uh, the old one, and throw it away, so you don't have superseded piles of superseded records. You also see, um, not only are they organized by ATA, but I've actually got it color coded. Uh, when I have with seven airplanes, I caught myself too many times uh, dropping in 8130s in the filing system for an airplane that it didn't belong. So I helped myself out, and it looks really neat, too, to, to color code it. Uh, so it helps you to, uh, to not make that mistake. You know which airplane you're dealing with. Um, and that's, that's what they look like. I try to keep them very neat, organized. This is our Challenger 300. This is our Lear 60. And our Pilatus PC-12 and our Beach Jet. Uh, but these are all very, I don't know, it's kind of neat. I, I, I wanted to show it to you because, uh, like I said, that's I'd like I'd like to do that for 10x too. So uh, thank you for your time. Uh, look forward to speaking to you tomorrow. Good night.